My name is Franklin Teeter. I own a landscaping company called Snake Hill Nursery. We've been full time in that since 1984. Um, purchased my first grasshopper in 1998. When we started out with the walk behind the man on the ground, I took, it took me 48 hours a week to do the lawns that I had that week. In 1998, I bought my 928D. The next week, I mowed all those yards in 17 and a half hours. We were done. It increased my productivity in the lawn maintenance, but I also got a farm, so we shifted the labor crew from there to the farm so we could do two things at the same time. The first two I purchased were 928Ds, and the last two I purchased are 930Ds, all diesels. The one I bought in 98 just turned 14,000 hours on it. I was always trained, told that on a diesel engine you only have three things to worry about, the fuel, the oil, and the air. If you keep it clean, they'll last a long time. I've been doing that on that machine for over 12 years. Uh, if you take good care of the diesel at last, you've got two G2 hydraulics underneath it, the motors. They work excellent. Never had a problem with any of them at all. I like your deck out front. Um, I can get so much closer to everything than something underneath, mid-mount or anything. Here's what we started. I started out with a walk behind and a, one man on the ground. When I got to the job site, my man would get out, he would edge the sidewalks, I would mow the yards. When we were done, I would always have to go help him finish up his job. When I would jump to the 928D, I got so close in the string trimming that I cut his job down in half. He was waiting for me in the truck when I would load my, the 928D up. That's where we saved our money and picked up our efficiency. I saved the ground crew a tremendous amount. The grasshopper always meets up the potential of the person that's sitting on it. If you put him on a machine that doesn't meet his potential, you're just wasting money. So my thing is, I put him on a machine that will meet and exceed the potential of the employee. So I put him on the best piece of equipment I can find, and that's the grasshopper, and we just mow yards. A lot of the mowers there out on the market, to get off the mower, you almost have to climb on and off the mower. So instead of doing that, they mow over the debris, they turn it into confetti, it looks terrible. When I'm mowing, if there's any debris in the lawn, they open the deck, one step, they're off my deck. They go pick it up, they bring it back, they put it in our bag, they close, they continue. Our accounts range from everything. We do small residential yards up to industrial. Most of my yards are over an acre big. Some of them are bigger. The machine's versatile enough that as long, I have a 61 inch decks on mine. As long as they have a 61 inch gate, we'll do the backyard, front yard, slopes, I wouldn't be doing the lawns I'm doing if I didn't have a grasshopper. Wouldn't be doing the amount of lawns I would do with 